we do a really good job as humans of uh, like separating people into groups, whether that's by gender, skin color, level of education, money made, whatever. We find a way to break people apart. And realizing that everyone has value is realizing that that stuff doesn't actually matter. Mm. All right, we, we can look at two things. One, you're created in the image of God. And number two, Jesus came for you. Right now, if you're created in God's image and Jesus died for you, then I need to start acting a little differently towards you. Sure, sure. And if you see every single person like that walking down the street, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, changes your perspective. Yeah. Things. So uh, we are, we are guilty. I would say in general, we, we we are guilty of maybe not acknowledging other people. You know, like we can even, we can be nice right? and not like other people don't necessarily impact my life. Well, <laughs> that's not the way that it worked with Jesus. Sure. Everybody was important to him. Yes. Yes. Uh, and so uh, that is how then we need to respond as well. Now, of course, it's overwhelming to, to like believe and, and feel the needs of everybody. So you can't do that. Not sure. any one person can do that. Right. But to be open to that, mm. to realize that everybody is here for a purpose, not just sure. me, sure. you know, thank, thank God for that. But it's not just about me. It's about everybody. Sure. And if we took even one person in our life to start seeing their value, whether it be a family member, a child, or, you know, a coworker mm. or something like a coworker like you, me starting to see your value, you know? Yeah. And it, there it, we go. It completely changes the way that we can treat people, right. that we should treat people. Right. It makes us think differently about their, well, it goes, <laughs> might be skipping a few points, but it helps us see their potential when we place value on them. Yes. Because if you don't value someone, you're not going to even, you know, care about their potential. Absolutely. Well, you bring up a good, good side point there, and that is that all of these principles are very intertwined. Right. You can't separate them out. They, <laughs> so, um, but even something so simple as going through the line at the grocery store, right? Well, we're, what we can do is we're in a rush. That cashier doesn't actually matter, right? Like all I need to do is get my stuff on the line, get it in a bag, your pay utility, for it, and get out of the store. utility in my life. Absolutely. But to view them as a child of God right. made in his image, Jesus died for this person. Yep. That might change the way I interact. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. How, how do you see this in, in the, the neighbors that we serve? Like what sort of value? Uh, Katie and I talked about how the world places a whole lot of different value in different things. You know, Christ puts value on somebody because they're his child. Mm. And then the world puts value on people for whether they can work hard enough, you know, be, you know, good looking enough, all those different things. So what I mean, I guess I'm kind of answering my own question, <laughs> but but seeing people's value really does change change everything, everything the way that we see people. And so, especially with uh, um, the folks that we serve in the community, a lot of in a lot of cases, um, no one has shown them their value ever in their life, and then their value has been from either what they and I, I say they, also including myself, like what you know what I can produce for the world what I can how productive I am that day or something like that and I think neighbors um, in the local community having somebody a voice in their um, in their corner saying you have value you have purpose yeah absolutely so it's it's important for each of us to adopt this this core principle because as we see the value in others and treat them as though they are valuable they start to see that about themselves too Right. This applies to each individual and applies to me too. It applies to me too. Like I'm created in the image of God. Jesus died for me. Well, I'm going to believe that more if you're treating me that way. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, it's harder to sink in on yourself a little bit. Yeah, it is. It is like, it's maybe a little bit easier to believe that about everybody, but me, right. like I, I'm the exception to this rule. No, but if everybody is treating me that way, as if I'm valuable, then, then I start to believe that so we invest relationally in others what does that mean investing relationally in others mean that we're we are not necessarily going to create a relationship with everyone that would be impossible sure. and overwhelming yeah. <laughs> but that we're open 
it's a creating a relationship with others. Um, it is, it's important to believe core principle number one to see everyone has value in order to say, hey, you are worth my time. You're worth creating a relationship with, right? If I see you as nothing, as a utility, then why would I create any kind of relationship with you, right? So this is important, just the, the people that are, are regularly in our lives. If we see the same person over and over again at the grocery store and we don't know their name, there's a problem, right? We should probably, you know, go that step. Um, and that is uh, showing that they have value. It's also opening the door for relationships.